Yeah, that's a cool table. But you made that? Mm -hmm. You should sell these things. That's actually the idea. My sister? Mike. Uh, oh, nice thank one. Thank you, Mike. So how do you know my brother? I'm an entrepreneur. I uh, manage a few businesses. I'm trying to hit on my sister. OK, uh, good talk. Entrepreneur stripper or stripper entrepreneur? Either one. I was hoping this was all a joke. Uh, it's pretty funny. They've sold it not as a Steven Soderbergh movie, yeah. and then you go and see it into a Steven Soderbergh movie. And okay. I was thinking, like, why would you guys do And then and you see it, and it now all makes sense. You straight? Yeah. Gay. Gay. Yeah. All right. Is that part of the, part no. of the pleasure? No. No, actually, it was like, to be honest, a little pushed back. Like, I didn't think it was as... I brought a friend of mine, 27 years old, also gay, and he was, loved the, just the movie, loved the story. Right, right, Could right. relate to, like, your character, like, trying to find a thing to do. Like, but see, even, stuff. even my straight friends, they're just like, I forgot that it was a stripper movie. Yeah. Like, they're, uh, by the end of it, they're like, right, oh, I for completely forgot that, like, that was happening in the movie, because it's done in a Soderbergh way. He's, a, he's, a, he's too stylish to fall down the mm -hmm. pitfalls of just, like, you know pandering to that. And that's my question though, is would you have made this movie with any other filmmaker who wasn't in the vein of Soderbergh? Right. Could you feel yourselves as actors doing that? Uh, you know what, uh, I have to be honest, like uh, I told this to first, the director was Nicholas Winden Refn. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, there was a quick second where he was like, I want to do this, and because we were about to do another movie together, and that movie kind of fell apart, and he got busy doing other things. So we were constantly always trying to figure out if he was ever going to be available for it. Mm. And then I went and did Haywire, and Soderbergh was just like, I'm down for this. Like, let's <laughs> do this. And I was like, well, <laughs> that's it. I, and I, I think just serendipitously, like, my, my angels took care of me. So Sometimes you get material where you're like, you know what, I'm going to, uh, I, I can, I can, fly and take this guy and take care of my man and man it doesn't even matter what the director does mm. now ideally you want to be in a film with a with a director's got his point of view and he's good at what he does and you want to be in a good story but the fact that Soderbergh called in 10 minutes I said yes if it would have been most other directors I would have definitely I couldn't have said I mean I've said yes on the phone twice in my life you know who was the other person Richard Linklater Mm -hmm. You know, but I have that relationship with them, work with them three times, mm -hmm. and because it, it could, there's a, it could go all wrong, <laughs> and you can. And they're also, you can work with, you can work with people, and they can say, yeah, yeah, you're doing that, but then you get there and you go see the film, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. that ain't what. That's where's every, where's. That? You're both in the middle of these like great years. Do you guys ever stop and 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 you you both had you know you've been in the business a bit longer than Channing, but today you know what, this is good now. Like, this is, this is a good run. Like, this is a good part of it. I want to remember this. Like, do you ever? I, I'm very, very conscious that this is, a, this is a very fertile and good time for me. I'm, I, am, I am creatively uh, um, really, I don't know, more turned on by, by certain things. And I think in, in, in the, the other side of that is I'm drawing some really interesting things to me as well. So they, they, they do reciprocate each other, what you're, what you're really turned on by and what you end up attracting. Me and Jonah were saying it on Jump Street. You don't know which ones are going to work. You don't work mm -hmm. any less hard on the one than the other one. And, you, you, I mean, it's a, it's a crapshoot in a way. You know, but you're only sort of good as your last movie. You know, people are, you know, all of a sudden you'll be on top of the world. If I have a good year this year, my first movie that comes out next year, it's a complete new year. And all of a sudden, like, you know, it'll be like, oh, the, if it's a good movie, then they'll be like, oh, the steady climb or whatever. <laughs> but if, if it doesn't come out all that well, they'll be like, oh, we thought he was going to, you know, do really good. And then you're, you're all of a sudden crashing and burning. You never know if any of them are going to work. You mm -hmm. don't know. I did five independent movies in a row last year. What I can say, and what and what all you really can bet on and hope for, is that every single day for five movies in a row, I couldn't wait to get out of bed and go to work.